Hi everybody, this is Melanie from the Braid and Tinker podcast channel on YouTube. This is actually not um, a, a podcast episode, I'm just doing some knitting doodles that I usually like to add in my bullet journal. I'm, I'm not really a, a classic bullet journaler, but I do enjoy a little bit of it. And um, sometimes I like to add little doodles and I just wanted to show you my um, knitting doodles, kind of, what I like to add. Anyway, um, I'm using my um, Sigma Micron fine liner in size 05 and I'm using my Uniball Signo uh, copper colored gel pen and this is my regular bullet journal in this is the Leuchtturm uh, 1917 in the color ice blue um, yeah I'm not really a, a great artist or anything or um, uh, a, a, a great letterer I would say someone who does fancy lettering but I find that the joy in bullet journaling and doodling is not so much in um, making it look Pinterest perfect pixel perfect I think the more interesting thing is really into yeah making it fun for yourself and um, that's why my doodles usually look like this kind of scritchy scratchy fun things that I use to um, kind of jazz up my pages so at the left top I've done a skein of yarn that is um, I really like that one it's kind of like a square label and you write yarn or wool or anything you like there and then you do these fun crazy tufts at the sides and then on the right we have um, like a cone shape you know those big cones that you can get in the store if you want to buy uh, things for knitting machines or um, yeah uh, uh, quantities for a sweater uh, you can get them in cone sizes usually I do like to add some like haberdashery items like uh, scissors needles pin cushions that kind of thing because you know we use more than just our um, needles and thread usually when we are uh, knitting we have I mean I have like a bunch of stuff and um, I, I, I like adding those so I have some little haberdashery items um, I'm doing a sock on some DPNs right now and it's actually quite hard to uh, uh, draw because it's kind of a, a wonky shape when you're knitting socks on uh, DPNs. But also, um, I don't think many people would actually knit uh, toe-up socks on DPNs. But don't tell, don't tell the muggles; they don't know. Um, yeah, I've done a spindle with some spinning. I don't actually, I'm not actually a spinner. I haven't, I have tried spinning, but because I just couldn't really get into it quickly enough I guess my brain was like no I'm not amazing at this within like 30 minutes so I don't like it anymore <laughs> I don't know if you're like that but um I I have that sometimes and then uh yeah I think I should just like hang up my spin I have like a little Turkish spindle I think I should just hang it, hang it up somewhere for decoration uh I don't use it so it's kind of in a box somewhere at the moment. Um, I've added some knitted fabric. Knitted fabric is also actually quite hard to draw um, because it's something that is, you know, yarn is round usually and uh, that makes it harder to draw. It's a very three-dimensional thing. And um, yeah, my doodles are usually very two-dimensional. So um, I've kind of used this method to draw little hearts. Uh, stacked on top of each other to draw a uh, knitted fabric. I've added some mushrooms, those are the ones that you use for darning socks, some needles, um, one of those gobstopper balls, uh, self-striping yarn. You could do those in different colors as well if you um, are very into um, using coloring pens. I have a giant box of uh, Crayola super tips. Those are really really good to uh, use for adding color to your bullet journal 
they're very inexpensive I found um, a little measuring tape uh, I, I, I really like drawing those I'm adding some circular needles now um, I usually knit on circular needles I don't really I, ha I do I do own uh, straight needles but I don't actually use them um, I did use them when I was learning to knit um, in the very very beginning but I don't use them anymore I just have my interchangeable set of higher higher sharps and I have a really nice uh, case with some rose fabric that I got at Yavol, um a while ago actually and uh, that's just what I use um, just adding some more cones of yarn here and there I'm just repeating some of the doodles um, because yeah makes it look nicer I have actually sped up the video here because um, I think it's it's a bit more interesting to look at so this is about twice twice as fast as I normally am uh, just another skein of yarn here I've added wool to it I do love this one it's my favorite really I did want to add um, sort of like a regular skein of yarn as you would buy it like if you buy indie dyed yarn these days um, this is what I think that would look like it's not great <laughs> I need to work a little bit on this doodle I don't think it looks fabulous but I, I think knitters will understand what this is what I'm trying to say here I think non-knitters would be very confused about what that drawing is but yeah just adding a little project bag um, here just to keep all your whips in this little some needles sticking out and a little bit of yarn sticking out whip on there and I think that this page is now done um, I like having these pages with doodles in my budget journal because then I can sort of go back sometimes and see um, one how doodles have evolved and you know sometimes I'll do a doodle and then forget about it and you can kind of look back and see uh, see how you did that one um, I'm just adding some sparkle with my copper gel pen I love love these gel pens and I do love some copper rose gold if you will pink and rose gold are my absolute favorite at the moment so I like to add those everywhere I think it looks nice but you can totally leave this part out if you're more of a monochromatic person so yeah that was it thank you so much for watching this video i will have a regular podcast episode for you guys soon just didn't have much time this weekend so this uh this video is it um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye